What's up investors? So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the latest news update from BioNanogenomics on the back of its 5 days next generation cytogenic symposium where it presented to investors and industry experts with the results of its Sapphire system. Their shares are on fire right now and has exploded by over 150% in the first two weeks of January. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you the outcome of the symposium, which has driven the share price growth the outlook on the stock, what analysts are thinking of it right now, and a huge catalyst on the stock, which I can bet you, you don't know yet. Healthcare and biogenomics are at the forefront of investors' interest, so you really don't want to miss out on this one. So please stay with me through to the end, as you don't want to miss anything on this hot stock right now, and its latest catalyst. Welcome back, I'm Cornelis from Cons Investing. My channel is about bringing you the latest market and stocks insight in a timely manner so you don't have to do any work. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell as I always bring you the hottest stock tips and always get straight to the point. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what biogenomic stocks you currently hold in your portfolio. Please keep in mind that these videos are just for information and entertainment purposes and are not a suggestion to buy or sell any stocks. So any trades should be made after your own research and due diligence. With that said, let's get straight into it and talk BNGO. BioNanogenomics is a genome analysis company which provides tools and services based on the Sapphire system to scientists and clinicians conducting genetic research and patient testing and also providing diagnostic testing for those with autism spectrum disorder and other neurodevelopmental disabilities through its Linagen business. BioNano Sapphire System is a research use only platform for ultra sensitive and ultra specific structural variation detection that enables researchers and clinicians to accelerate the search for new diagnostics and therapeutic targets and to streamline the study of changes in chromosomes which is known as cytogenetics. Its Sapphire system is the reason for the share price increase. So let's see it in action. This is Sapphire from BioNanogenomics. With it, you can directly image the genome in high resolution to detect variations such as deletions, duplications, translocations, and inversions, known as structural variations, with sensitivity as high as 99%. The process is simple and automated to enable routine use in disease research. Structural variation commonly occurs in a broad range of diseases, including neurodegenerative diseases, intellectual disabilities, and various types of cancer. In fact, the first targeted cancer therapies were based on gene fusions, a type of structural variant. Given the role structural variants play in both understanding and developing potential targeted therapies, it is important that structural variants are accurately identified or called. To do this, there are two fundamentally different yet complementary approaches, sequencing and whole genome imaging. In short read sequencing or next generation sequencing, DNA is read in short segments of about 150 base pairs and the read sequences are compared to a reference genome. It can characterize small variants, but structural variants are often tens of thousands of base pairs or longer, so short read sequencing is not an accurate way of calling them. What's more, two-thirds of the genome is repetitive, and structural variants in repeat regions are often invisible by whole genome sequencing. Whole genome imaging with the SAFIRE system takes an entirely different approach to understanding the structure of DNA through imaging. It has proven to accurately identify structural variants ranging from 500 base pairs to whole chromosome lengths with sensitivity as high as 99%. First, native ultra-high molecular weight DNA, multi-megabase pairs in length, is isolated. Fluorescent labels are enzymatically attached to these ultra-long molecules of DNA at a specific sequence motif that occurs throughout the genome. The resulting label patterns are unique for each section of the genome. The full length of the DNA remains intact during isolation and labeling, preserving the architecture for the next step, imaging the genome. 
The labeled DNA is pipetted into the sapphire chip and placed in the sapphire instrument. In the chip, the DNA is uncoiled or linearized across thousands of parallel nanochannels and imaged, revealing its fluorescent label patterns. By capturing these images in repeated cycles across the hundreds of thousands of nanochannels on the chip, all the images necessary to assemble a map of an entire genome are captured. Algorithms extract molecules from the images, and then bio-nano algorithms construct consensus genome maps. Bio-nano access software also allows easy visualization and filtering of SV calls using our built-in control SV database. From the thousands of SVs found in any human sample, you can remove variants present in controls and narrow down your SVs of interest to a handful with just a few clicks. This is all enabled due to the extremely long molecules isolated and imaged with the Sapphire system. Want to use whole genome imaging for your next discovery? Go to bionanogenomics.com to learn more about how you can call more structural variants with higher accuracy and sensitivity. So the symposium features six Sapphire users presenting their results and experiences using the Sapphire system for optimal genome mapping, OGM, to analyze solid tumor genomes. The presentations by scientists and clinicians from leading hospitals and medical research institutions in Europe and in the US discuss the results on a variety of solid tumors such as cancers of the head, neck, brain, breast, liver, and the eye. All six studies show that Sapphire enables for the first time a complete and clear picture of structural variation in the genome and provides opportunity for the discovery of novel cancer drivers, something which has not been possible to date with next generation sequencing. This for me is groundbreaking and puts them on a different level for disruptive innovation. Seven other Sapphire users also presented their results and experiences using the Sapphire system for optimal genome mapping to analyze the genomes of patients with genetic diseases largely caused by the expansion or contraction of genomic repeats. The presentations by scientists and clinicians show that Sapphire allows for the study of many regions in the genome that contain repeats and couldn't be accurately assessed with sequencing technologies or other modern methods. So the Sapphire system helps to solve genetic mysteries, enables study of complex genetic diseases, and simplifies muscular dystrophy testing. The outcome impressed medical professionals with its accuracy in detecting tumors as well as saving doctors time and money without having to run extra costly tests or scans. BNGO also announced that it will be revealing information on how Sapphire can detect genetic drivers that lead to increased susceptibility to COVID-19. The Sapphire platform is also able to identify structural variants in our genes that have control over potential immune system responses. The importance of this is that it will help determine why some people react severely to COVID-19 while others remain symptomatic. So not only is the solution focusing on genetics, but also broader functions with COVID-19 virus. For me, this is timely and couldn't just be any better and the company couldn't be more relevant. So when you put these pieces together, it's easy to understand where the hype is coming from. With a sharp rise in the share price, up more than 150% so far, the management have smartly used the stock's rise as an opportunity to raise cash at a more attractive valuation. So BioNano raised $101.8 million in a share offering earlier in January, which it can now use to fund its growth initiatives. BioNano is 5.3% owned by major institutional investors, with the majority of the shareholders being hedge funds and institutional investors who have increased their total holdings, notably the Vanguard Group, which has the largest holding of 5.6 million shares, weighting 3.6%. The Vanguard Group has also increased its holdings by 1,400% as of September 30th, 2020, which is huge. And again, a really good indication of how bullish they are in this stock's potential. Even more exciting is the potential huge catalyst on this stock. It has also been noted that genomics industry investors, Kathy Woods Arc Invest, have also apparently been keen to know more about BioNano. ARK investor Simon Barnett was reported to be interested in speaking to BioNano CEO, Dr. Robert Eric, late in 2020. So investors are anticipating that 
BioNano could be added to ARK's genomic ETF, ARKG, at some point in the near future, especially after its impressive showing at the symposium. So that would definitely drive more volume trading activity, demand for the stock and push its fair price even higher. And as we know, when ARK speaks these days, the industry listens and responds. It has four analysts covering its stock with a strong buy recommendation on the stock. So if you want to invest in the stock, consider cost averaging, given it's at an all-time high right now. And remember to always conduct your own due diligence prior to making any investing. And also be sure to have a good exit strategy. You need to be aware that these are biotech stocks, which will be a lot more higher risk and a lot more volatile. So make sure you're planning any trade accordingly and that any trading activity falls within your risk tolerance. When analysts make their buy ratings and price targets, they're looking at the catalyst over the next year and over the long term. So if you're looking at this for the long term, just plan your entry point accordingly. And with any investing, make sure you always have your exit plan and understand your risk. This video is not a buy or sell recommendation, but it's meant to bring some new and exciting companies to your attention for you to do your own research and due diligence or before making your decision. As always, I'd love to hear from you, so let me know your thoughts on BioNano in the comments section or what other biogenomic stocks are catching your eyes lately. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please check out this video right here or this playlist right here to watch more insightful content from this channel. Or if you're new, please make sure you subscribe to my channel so I can share with you the latest market insight and tips every week. And make sure you hit the buzzer to be notified when I upload new videos. Coming up next are equally exciting videos on penny stocks, so please make sure you hit the buzzer to be notified. Thank you so much for being here and I look forward to having you in my next video. Thank you.